Welcome back. You're watching the NDTV Detol Banega Swast India. How do we bridge the gap with 50,000 to 75,000 beds for a population of 1 billion with critical care specialist shortage across the country, where more than 80% of our top critical doctors live in big metro cities? Well, technology adoption is the key this hour. We are going to be talking about how technology can bring about a change in healthcare. Joining us for this hour, we have Dr. Sangeeta Reddy, Managing Director, Polo Hospitals, Neera Jain, Country Director, India Path, Dilane Gandhi, Regional Marketing Director, South Asia, Health and Nutrition Record, Mohammad Asif, CEO, Plan India, Nikhil Joshi, Co-Founder, Digital Jalebi, Prashant Warrior, Co-Founder and CEO, Cure.ai, and Shaito Raha, Founder and CEO, my healthcare. Thank you all so much for joining us. Tell us about the artific artificial intelligence and what cure.ai does. Tell us your journey. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you. And uh, it's an honor to be in presence of uh, this group. I mean, and Mr. Bachchan, uh, happy 80th birthday in advance. I know it's coming up next week. Um, I wanted to uh, uh, talk about what we do. In fact, I mean, we are addressing precisely the problem that you're talking about, Mr. Bachchan, that a lot of times you don't have access at the point of care. And uh, what we do is build artificial intelligence algorithms, which can automatically interpret radiology images. So X-rays, CT scans, ultrasounds, we can interpret that automatically within a minute at the point of care. So if you take an X-ray, the algorithm is interpreting that immediately and producing a result. And this is something that is now WHO endorsed, where WHO has, uh, again, WHO has basically said that AI can be a, a replacement for a human reader. And you can basically read an X-ray, identify tuberculosis, in fact, one of the problems that we're addressing is tuberculosis. So we can interpret tuberculosis on an X-ray and immediately provide a result. And this is something where, I mean, I'll talk about one of the examples from uh, across the world. I mean, one example specifically from Philippines uh, that we have seen is that we are able to reduce the time that it takes to read an X-ray from four to five weeks to a single minute. So now what used to take about four or five weeks can be interpreted in a minute, and we are able to read that X-ray. And think about it. I mean, this is something which takes a human being 30 years of training to become a radiologist, and we are now building artificial intelligence which can interpret that X-ray and do that very accurately in a very short amount of time. And this is, as I mentioned, part of the WHO protocol. And this is one of the solutions. Again, there are solutions that we have which can detect lung cancer early. So on a chest X-ray, we can uh, identify nodules, identify a lung nodule, a lung cancer risk, and be able to diagnose those earlier. And that becomes, again, a massive opportunity because lung cancer is one of those conditions where by the time you get diagnosed, the mass is pretty big in the lung, and it's too late. It's too late to, uh, to treat that patient. So if you're able to diagnose lung cancer early on a routine X-ray, so we all take X-rays for so many reasons. We can diagnose uh, that lung cancer on a, or at least identify lung cancer on that routine X-ray, and then get that patient to a CT scanner, get a CT, get a biopsy. You can radically change lung cancer diagnostics, and that is exactly what we're doing now uh, in partnership with AstraZeneca across the world in about 21 countries. And then we also work on stroke. Stroke, where, which is one of those conditions where you want to be able to treat that patient quickly because every minute that passes by, your brain cells are dying. And what we do again is that the CT scan that is taken at the hospital, we deploy our algorithm on that. And within a minute, we can alert the doctors that there is this patient who's got a, either a bleed um, or an infarct or all the different indications on that CT scan. So, so that is the technology that we have, we have built out at Cure.ai. And today we are in about 62 countries uh, at about 700 plus hospitals. Uh, and, and scaling this up, we are actually, till now we have reached more than about 1.2 crore patients. And this year alone, we are probably going to process about 60 lakh patients through our technology. So 